Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. I'm David. I'm David. What's your name? <laughs> I'm David, and my favourite animal is... The animal that I love best of all is... What's my favourite animal? <laughs> now, I'm going to tell you. I hope you can hear me. Can you hear me? Mm, I'm just going to write here. Can you hear me? Okay, let's find out. Can you hear me okay? I'm David and today I'm going to tell you stories. Stories from all over a wonderful world. Stories for children. And if you are a child, ask your mum or your dad, your brother or your sister or anybody in your family to come and join you because we're going to do storytelling together. and You can help me to tell the stories. I'd love to know how old you are. So if you're a teacher or a parent, you can write as well and the children can. Just write your name and how old are you and your favourite animal. Hello, everybody. I think you can hear me. Otherwise, you'd say you can't. What's my favourite animal? Shall I show you? Can you guess? If you want to, you can start writing in the comments. And if you want to write in the comments, you need to go to the Hands Up Project page. Wherever you are in the world, welcome, welcome to some storytelling. My favourite animal, where is it? Here it is. Can you guess what my favourite animal is? What do you think? What do you think my favourite animal is? No, it's not alive. But they do live, of course. Write down what you think my favourite animal is. Can you tell? Can you tell? I'm waiting for your comments. I'd like to know what you think my favourite animal in all of the wonderful world might be. Can you see? It's got a tail. And how many legs? How many legs has it got? What else has it got? It's beautifully decorated. But it's not the real animal. Do you think this animal has got... What do you think? Has it got wings for flying? Can you see wings? No, nor can I. Hmm. Do you think this is a, an animal that swims? under the water. Has it got like a fish's tail? Mm, no, <laughs> I don't think so. Write down what you think the animal is. Let's see what your ideas are. I can see that some of you think it's a deer. Oh, I love deers. Is that your favourite animal? Is that your favourite animal, Diana? Hi, Asia. Or is it a zebra? Diana says. Mmm, zebras are stripy. And there you can see some beautiful stripes on here. And certainly it's got four legs like a zebra. 
You think it's a zebra? <laughs> Deborah says, my favorite animal is a bear. And you think my favorite animal is a horse. Oh, it looks a bit like a horse, doesn't it? You think it's a horse? Saha loves the tiger. <laughs> I love tigers. I love stories about tigers. Hello, Sarah. Write down in the comment, what do you think my favorite animal is? And you can tell me yours. Horse? Amia says, is it an elephant? If, oh, Serene says, is it an elephant or a cow? Amia says, is it an elephant? Deborah says it's got four legs. And Seren, elephant, elephant. If you think it's an elephant, press like now. Shall we find out? Got big ears. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like my elephant? I love my elephant. This elephant was not made in England. This elephant was made in India. Such a proud, wonderful animal. And there's an elephant in the story that I'm going to tell you first today. The stories I'm going to tell you today are all about The stories I'm going to tell you today are all about, oh, water and animals, water and animals. There are some animals in my story, but I'm just interested to find out more of your favorite animals. Let's see if you've written down your favorite animal. Diana loves a deer. Hassan thought it might be a camel. It does look a bit like a camel. Does it have a trunk, said Serene? Well, you saw that it does. <laughs> so I thought it was a mixed animal. Zebra, horse and elephant. That's a magical animal. I'd love to see a zebra, horse, elephant, like a zahorsephant. <laughs> Do you play with words? Zahorsephant. Elephant from India. So lovely and funny. Thank you for your comments. I love your comments. How old are you? Say, I am, and you can put the number, I am 10. I am 6. I am 15. I am, shh, it's a secret. <laughs> Write down your age. I want to know how old the children are and all of your brothers and sisters too. So, the story I'm going to tell has lots of animals in it and it's a story that comes from, let's find out. A story that comes from here, from Tibet. Can you say that? Tibet. It's a beautiful story. Now, in my story, there are different animals. I wonder if you can guess my animals. The first animal has long ears, a little bob tail and hops. Write down what animal you think the first animal in the story could be. Let's see. Hi, Dawood, 14 years old, and Dawood loves a cheetah. But what animal is the first animal in my story? Let's 
He's got long ears and hops about. Yeah, there's elephants on my shirt as well. Thank you. I love this shirt, don't you? Ah, kangaroos hop about. That could be, but this animal is much smaller. It has long ears and it hops and runs. Any guesses? Donkey? Oh, donkeys have long ears too. Kangaroo. <gasps> Asia! Well done, Asia. It's a rabbit. And here is my picture. Can you say rabbits? I want to hear you. Well, you know, if you say it loud and clear, I might be able to hear you. Let's say it all together. Rabbits, after me, three, two, one. Ah, oh, yes, I heard you. Let's say it three times. Rabbits, 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 all together. Rabbits, rabbits, rabbits. The next animal in my story. Be careful, rabbits. This animal has sharp teeth, a long, bushy tail, very quiet and very fast. In England, where I live, its colour is red. But sometimes in other parts of the world, it might be black or white. Any ideas? Very dangerous for rabbits. <laughs> there were three rabbits, that's right, Serene. But what animal am I talking about with a long red bushy tail, sharp teeth, bright eyes, pointed ears? Sometimes I see them in the countryside near my house. Deborah says, Fox. If you think Deborah's right, say that you like her comment. Click on Deborah's comment fox if you think she's right click like 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 <laughs> it's fox can you say that let me hear you fox <laughs> let's say it three times together fox 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 everybody fox fox <laughs> Here we are, rabbits and fox. Now the next animal in my story likes to hang up in the trees. You know the trees in the forest that are all green. <laughs> This animal has a round face, bright eyes, and a long, strong tail. Any ideas? Write down what you think it could be. Oh, Hadil. That's very quick. Wonder if you agree with her. Well done, Hadil. Hello, Dinah. What do you think? Well, maybe it's Dina. Reader says also monkey. <laughs> if you agree that it's monkey, you can click like. There's the monkey, the monkey in the story. Can you say monkey? Monkey. Let's say it three times together. Monkey, monkey, monkey. Everybody together. Monkey, monkey, monkey. Yes, I could hear you. Where are you, I wonder? Which part of the world? Mm. I wonder if you can guess the next animal in the story. Even before I tell you what it's like, it's 
very, very big. And I love it. Let me see if anyone can guess what I'm talking about, which animal. It's so big. It's huge. And this animal is one of my favorites. In fact, it's my favorite animal, so maybe you can guess. And it has a long trunk. Can you guess? <laughs> Thank you, Hazar. I'm waiting for your guess. Ah, oh, it lives in India. It lives in Africa. It's big and it's beautiful. Rana, Iman, Diana. Yes. Click like if you agree. Is it? Elephant. Yes, it's my favorite animal. Can you say it after me? Elephant. 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 Let's say it three times. Elephant. 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 <laughs> Will you say it with me three times? Everybody, let me hear you. Elephant, elephant, elephant. Well done. Oh no. Oh dear. There's one more animal in the story. It's very dangerous. No, it's not a tiger. It roars and has a lot of hair around its head called a mane. It's a dangerous animal. It's a hunter with sharp teeth and a golden fur. Can you guess such a powerful, strong? This animal is never afraid. Can you guess? What animal is the last animal in the story? Let's see if anyone's guessed. <laughs> Mohammed, Diana, Iman. I want to know how old you are. Are there any children as well? Or are you children? The animal I'm talking about is... Perhaps you're right. Lion. Look at that beautiful lion. Look at the mane. How strong. Lion. Can you say it? Lion. Say it three times. Lion, lion, lion. Say it with me three times. Lion, lion, lion. <sighs> So that's all of the animals in the story. We've got rabbits, fox, monkey, elephant, lion. Now it's time to tell the story and I need you to help me. So, if you can, stand up, come on, stand up. Mums and dads and children, teenagers, younger children, brothers and sisters and cousins, stand up, stand up together, because we're going to use our bodies to tell the story together. We're going to do it more than once, so we can all learn the story. And afterwards, you can make a video of you telling the story. And you can post it if you want to. Here we go. We're going to tell the story. Let's see if you're ready. That's right, dear man. Rabbit, fox, monkey, elephant, lion. And your daughter, Diana, is six years old. Brilliant. I'm delighted. Hello. Hello. 
Diana's daughter. I wonder what your name is. Let's find out. Mm. Oh, I want to tell you something. The story begins by a beautiful lake. Look at that lake, the fresh, clear water. I told you there was water today. Mm. So, Once upon a time, at the edge of a beautiful clear lake, there lived a family of rabbits. One day from the lake came the sound of a loud plop. <gasps> What's that sound? said the rabbits. Plop! Oh! The rabbits were frightened. <laughs> They ran and they ran as fast as they could. They ran deep into the wood. There was bushy tailed, keen eyed fox. Where are you going, rabbits, in such a rush? Plop is coming! Fox was frightened and joined the rush. They ran and they ran as fast as they could. They ran deeper into the wood. There in the tree <laughs> was Monkey. Where are you going, rabbits and fox, in such a rush? They said, Plop is coming. Monkey was frightened and joined the rush. Let's all do it together. Get your body actions. They ran and they ran as fast as they could. They ran deeper into the wood. There, deep in the wood, was a big animal with a long trunk. It was elephant. Where are you going, rabbits, fox and monkey, in such a rush? Oh, plop is coming! Elephant was frightened and joined the rush. Oh! They ran and they ran as fast as they could. They ran deeper into the wood. There, deep in the wood, they found the lion. Where are you going, rabbits, fox, monkey and elephant in such a rush? Plop is coming! The lion was not frightened. The lion is never frightened. Plop? What is plop? I don't know, said Elephant. Ask Monkey. <laughs> I don't know, said Monkey. Ask Fox. I don't know, said Fox. Ask Rabbits. We don't know, said Rabbits. Plop came from the lake. Come with me, said Lion. Together, all of the animals went through the trees in the wood and down to the lake. Can you remember all the animals? There were, let's do it together, rabbits, fox, monkey, elephant and lion. Do it again. There were rabbits, fox, monkey, elephant and lion. They went through the trees to the edge 
of the beautiful, clear lake. They looked and they looked and they looked. They found out what plop is. Now I wonder, what do you think plop is? The sound of plop is the sound of something falling into water. Plop. What could it be? What frightened the rabbits and all of the animals? Mm, I'm going to have a drink of water. And in the comment, Talk to your family and in the comment, write down what you think the sound plop is. What is plop? Come on. Let's find out what you think. I'll have a look. Ah, Serene says, a rock, a huge rock. Perhaps somebody threw a rock and it fell into the lake with a plop. Ahlam said the same, dropping stones into water. And Dawood, gravel. Gravel are small stones. So we've got gravel, stone, and a rock. They're all very similar. Oh, Sibel. Sibel, where are you? Which country are you in? Where do you live? Sybil said, frogs, ribbit, 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 ribbit. Maybe it's a frog that hopped into the lake with a ribbit, ribbit, plop. <laughs> Wonderful. Let's see what else people say. Mm. I think it's interesting too, Fida. What do you think it could be? Diana says, maybe it's a snoring or a sleeping animal. Mm, snoring sounds like this. <laughs> Plop is the sound of something falling into water. Plop. What could it be? Snow or rain, maybe a drop of rain. A drop of rain fell from the sky and plop, just a little plop in the water. It could be, couldn't it? Stone, brick, rock from Sahar. Any other ideas? Oh, Sibel, you're in Turkey. Lovely, lovely to meet you. Thank you for joining. Everybody is welcome from all over the world. Anybody else? Lots of people I know are in Gaza, in Palestine. But are there people from other places who are joining us? And some children too. Tell us. Make sure you're on the Hands Up Project Facebook page. Otherwise, I cannot see your comments. If you're on another page, change. Because then I can meet you and find out about your comments and everyone can enjoy your ideas. 
Oh, Deborah says maybe an apple falling from a tree into the water. An apple, perhaps, falling into the water with a plop. What wonderful ideas. Well, let's find out what happened at the end of the story, shall we? Are you ready? Can you remember all the animals in the story? Say them. Say them and then I'll show you. I'm going to hide it so you can't see. Tell the person that you're with all of the animals in the story so far. Let's see. We've got rabbits, fox, monkey, elephant and lion. Rabbit, fox, monkey, elephant and lion went through the trees to the edge of the beautiful clear lake. They looked and they looked and they looked. Next to the lake was a tall tree. Hanging on the branch of the tree was a big fruit. A mango. The mango fell from the tree into the lake with a plop. Yes, it was like an apple. It was a fruit. Lion said, look, there was nothing to be frightened of. <laughs> Elephant, go and pick up the mango. Elephant went with a long trunk and picked up the mango. Monkey <laughs> peeled the mango and divided it up with his strong hands. So all of the animals had some mango. The rabbits, the fox, the monkey, the elephant and the lion. Oh, they ate the mango. <laughs> Mmm, it was tasty. Mmm, it was tasty. It was tasty. <laughs> you see, there was nothing to be frightened of. Wow. Thank you for helping me to tell the story. I can't do it without you and you make it such fun. Let's read some more of your comments, see what people are saying. Fruit from a tree. <laughs> ah, a pineapple. That's another fruit, isn't it? Ah, that's okay, Serene. You missed part of the story because of internet connection. But the good news is, Serene, you can watch it again because this session will stay on the Hands Up Project page. So you can watch it again and catch the pieces that you missed. And while I remember, I'm just going to write here. If, I, if it works. Yeah. There, I've just added in the, in the comments a link to me telling this story with some young children, about six years old, five and six years old, in Kathmandu in Nepal, which is near Tibet. And they're really joining in with the story. So you can see how it works with other children. And if you're a teacher, Plop is a story that we could all learn and tell. There is um, Nepal. That's where I told the story. And the story comes from Tibet, so very nearby. So, yeah, you can watch the link later if you missed part of the story, Serene. Or you can watch this broadcast later as well. In fact, Serene, I think we can do better than that. I think we'll tell the story again. But this time, when we tell the story, we won't stop. And everybody can join in with the actions. Are you ready, everybody? Do you want to hear the story again? Here we go.
Once upon a time, there were a family of rabbits. They lived next to a beautiful clear lake. One day, from the lake came the sound of a loud plop. Oh, the rabbits were frightened. Oh, what's that? They ran and they ran as fast as they could. They ran deeper into the wood. There they met Fox. Where are you going, rabbits, in such a rush? Plop is coming! Oh, oh, Fox was frightened and joined the rush. They ran and they ran as fast as they could. They ran deeper into the wood. There in the tree was Monkey. <laughs> Where are you going, rabbits and fox, in such a rush? Plop is coming. Oh, Monkey was frightened and joined the rush. They ran and they ran as fast as they could. They ran deeper into the wood. And there in the wood was the huge elephant. Where are you going, monkey, uh, rabbit, fox and monkey, in such a rush? Plop is coming. Elephant, frightened, joined the rush. They ran and they ran as fast as they could. They ran deeper into the wood. There in the wood was the lion. Where are you going, rabbits, fox, monkey, elephant? in such a rush. Plop is coming! Lion was not frightened. Lion is never frightened. Plop? What is Plop? I don't know, said Elephant. Ask Monkey. I, I don't know, said Monkey. Ask Fox. I don't know, said Fox. Asked rabbits. We don't know, said rabbits, but Plop came from the clear lake. Come with me, said Lion. Together, the rabbits, fox, monkey, elephant and lion went through the trees of the wood to the beautiful clear lake. They looked and they looked and they looked. Next to the lake was a tall tree. In the tree, there were fruit growing. Mangoes. One mango fell from the tree and landed in the lake with a plop. <sighs> said Lion. There was nothing to be frightened of. Elephant, get the mango. Elephant waded into the lake and picked up the mango with his trunk. Monkey took the mango and peeled it and shared it. The animals, the rabbits, fox, monkey, elephant and lion, they ate the delicious mango. It was tasty. It was tasty. It was tasty. Did you tell it with me? Did you? I think I could see you and I could hear you. Wonderful all families together because one of the things we're trying to do here with these hands up live videos while so many of you around the world are stuck at home is all families doing storytelling and drama together so what you can do is you can take this story and you can tell it in your own way and practice and practice and then you could make a video and you could post it here on the hands up project page so we can all enjoy it and we can all comment on it. I'll certainly comment. I'd love to see what you do. But I've got a question for you. At the beginning of the session, I said, what's your favorite animal? My favorite animal in the story is the elephant. What sort of animal are you in this story? Are you the rabbit? Are you a fox? Are you a monkey? Are you an elephant? Or are you a lion? Now don't tell me. I'd like you all to become that animal. Move around the room as if you are that animal. Go on. Yes, I can see you moving around the room. I can see some hopping rabbits. I can see you. And I can see some foxes slinking around silently 
I can see some monkeys swinging through the trees. I can see a huge elephant, or more than one. I can see dangerous lions. <laughs> Please tell me, what do you like about being that animal? Write it down in the comment. Or ask your mum or dad to write it down. You could say, I'm a rabbit and I like being a rabbit. For example, I like having a soft tail or I like jumping. So just write down in the comment, what animal are you? Let's try. What animal are you and what do you like about being the animal you are? Make sure it's an animal from the story. Rabbit, fox, monkey, elephant or lion. Which animal are you? Mm -hmm, yummy mango. Thank you. Diana, fears are nothing but a state of mind. How true. Never follow others without understanding, says Inas. Mm, always find out before you make your decision. Is it really something to be frightened of? I'm sure all of us have experience of that. So Dawood, Dawood, you said, I loved the lion. So Dawood, can you say, what do you like about being the lion? What's the best thing about being the lion? Ah, Dawood, I like the lion. I loved his strong personality. Never frightened and thinking. Strong personality. <laughs> Ahlam, I like being rational and think before taking any actions. Ahlam, does that mean that you're the lion as well? Deborah, I'm an elephant. I like being able to be big and have a big trunk to reach the fruit from the trees and from the lake. Wonderful. Are you an elephant with a big long trunk? Let's all sing that. Are you an elephant with a big long trunk? Everybody. Are you an elephant with a big long trunk? <laughs> I think we've got a song coming. Are you a fox, Hassan? Are you a fox? It's so clever and smart. Everybody, let's sing it. Are you a fox? It's so clever and smart. <laughs> let's find another one. The lion is my favourite because it doesn't follow others. We should be lions and make ambiguous fears clear for us and others. Are you a lion? Never afraid. Let's sing it together. Are you a lion? Never afraid. Everybody. Mm. Did anybody choose to be another animal? Noor. I'm the rabbit because it's a kind, beautiful, small animal. Let's sing it. Let's see. How can we make it into that rhythm? Are you a rabbit? Beautiful, small. <laughs> oh, lovely. Let's sing it together. Are you a, na are you a rabbit? Beautiful and small. Wonderful. Did anybody choose the fox or the monkey? What do you like about those animals? Now you all like the lion and Nidal, you would like to be a deer. I've got a song for you. We can join, we can have some of your ideas in the song. It's a song about the story and it will help you to remember the story. Let's use some of your ideas. Let's see if you've got any more. So the fox was clever and smart. The lion is never. The elephant with a long, long trunk. What sort of animal are you? 
What sort of animal are you? Are you a rabbit, beautiful and small? Are you a fox with a long bushy tail? Are you a monkey who hangs in the trees? Are you an elephant with a long, long trunk? Are you a lion, never afraid? What sort of animal are you? What sort of animal are you? Oh yeah, that's a good song, isn't it? Somebody talked about a kangaroo earlier as well. <laughs> A monkey is always funny, said Sibel. <laughs> Monkeys are active and fit. Oh, thank you, Dawood. You like my guitar? Let's sing it together. But this time, can everybody stand up and dance and sing it and do the actions? Let's do the animal actions. What sort of animal are you? What sort of animal are you? Are you a rabbit, beautiful and small? Are you a fox, long bushy tail? Are you a are you a monkey, active and fun? Are you an elephant with a long, long trunk? Are you a lion, never afraid? What sort of animal are you? What sort of animal are you? Let's do it again with all the actions. Get ready. We can jump around, we can move around the room. Let's all get fit. Are you a rabbit? What sort of animal are you? Are you a fox? What sort of animal are you? Are you a monkey? What sort of animal are you? Are you an elephant? Or are you a lion? What sort of animal? Are you a rabbit, beautiful and small? Are you a fox with a long bushy tail? There's my tail. Are you a monkey, active and fun? Are you a, are you an elephant with a big long trunk? Are you a lion, never afraid? What sort of animal are you? What sort of animal are you? Ooh. Are you a kangaroo? Boingy 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 boing. Boingy 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 boing. Boingy 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 boing boing boing. <laughs> and that is the what sort of animal are you song and when you watch this video again you can sing with it and you can make a recording of yourself singing the song that we all made up together because it had some of your words in it didn't it it wasn't my song it was our song we made the song the song about plop So, children, families, your homework. Take the song, take the story. You can follow the link on YouTube that I gave you earlier in the comments, in the chat. You can watch the, me telling it with children in Nepal. You can learn it. You can make a a recording of yourselves telling the story or singing the song or both and you can post them here and children all around the world can do it we may be closed off because of the coronavirus but we can all be together as well through the hands up project and using the internet in creative positive ways to make the world a better place i'm just going to finish off by reading some of your comments Serene, you asked, what animal do you prefer? What sort of animal do you like? Well, if you were here right at the beginning, you will know. Shall I show you my favourite animal again? Uh, 
It's the elephant. My elephant comes from India. Isn't my elephant beautiful? Serene, how funny. Reader, wonderful song. Thank you, Reader. Feeder, an awesome song. Well, we made it up. Great outcome. When we tell stories from around the world, the world becomes a happier, more friendly, more welcoming place. May it be a place of love and friendship. This afternoon at two o'clock UK time and four o'clock there in Gaza, I'll be doing more storytelling, but this time storytelling for older children, for teenagers and even adults. It's okay for young children to come as well, but the stories will be a little bit more complex, a little bit more English. Plop is a wonderful story for telling with children who are just starting out with English. They can understand because of the actions, the simple vocabulary, and the repeat, repeat, repeat of the vocabulary. So these are perfect stories for us to share with children who are starting to learn English. But we can all enjoy it. That's the wonderful thing about stories. You might say, oh, this story is for younger children. But actually, we all enjoy it, don't we? Keep on commenting. I'll respond to your comments. And peace, love, salam alaikum.